compliance with Chapter 231 of the Open Public Meeting Act of the State of New Jersey, adequate notice having been given to all members of the governing body, the local source, and the Westfield leader, the two newspapers designated to receive such notice. This notice is also posted on the Borough Hall uh, Bulletin Board. Let's stand for an invocation from Councilwoman Andre. Dear God, thank you for bringing us together as a community tonight. Uh, please continue to look over our community, fire, police, and rescue squad, and guide us with um, your strength to continue as a strong council, mayor and council. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, Martha. Here. 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 Okay, let's start with the approval of the minutes of the regular and exec executive session meetings on September 20th, 2016. So moved. Second. We have a motion, we have a second. Poll the council, please. Who is this for? Yes. September 20th. Next one's our yes. 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 Next, we have the minutes for the work and executive session meeting on October 4th, 2016. So moved. Second. We have a motion. We have a second. Poll the council, please. Yes. Abstain. Yes. 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 Okay, next we have red uh, proclamations for Red Ribbon Week, which I'm going to read. Whereas on October 23rd through October 31st has been designated as Red Ribbon Week. Uh, whereas Red Ribbon Week started in 1985 with a group of parents wearing red satin badges as a memorial to Enrique Camarera, a federal drug enforcement uh, administration agent who was killed while on duty. Whereas as a result, in 1989, the red ribbon became a united symbol of commitment to create a drug-free America, showing a nation's intolerance to alcohol and drug abuse. Whereas the Municipal Alliance of the Borough of Mountainside, who man whose mandate includes spreading the message of drug and alcohol abuse prevention, has coordinated Borough and County Participation in Red Ribbon Week. Uh, therefore, I, Paul and Mirabelli, Mayor of the Borough of Mountain Sioux, do, do hereby proclaim October 23rd through October 31st, 2016 as Red Ribbon Week in the Borough of Mountainside and ask all residents to join in a personal commitment to drug-free America by wearing and displaying red ribbons during Red Ribbon Week. So I need a motion for this proclamation. So moved. We, second. We have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 None opposed. So proclaimed. Next, we have another proclamation for Band Appreciation Week for Governor Livingston Highlander Band, whereas on behalf of the Governor Livingston Band Parents Organization, we wish to acknowledge the musical accomplishments of the Governor Livingston Highlander Band, whereas these musical accomplishments have been a great asset to the students of Governor Livingston High School and all others who have supported the Highlander Band, and whereas all citizens are urged to take interest in and give full support to the Governor Livingston Highlander Band in their annual program. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, Paul and Mirabelli, Mayor of the Borough of Mountainside, hereby proclaim the week of November 13th, 2016 as Band Appreciation Week. I have need a motion for that proclamation. So moved. Second. We have a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 None opposed. So proclaimed. Okay, next we have the resolutions. Let's start with uh, Resolution 94-2016. Uh, Glenn. This resolution will authorize the borough's chief financial officer, Jill Good, to solicit and accept bids for a $5,265,400 and no cents bonded participation note. Second. <laughs> we have a motion, we have a second. Second. Call the council, please. Councilman Andre? Yes. Councilman Peterkin? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? 
Yes. Yes. Next, we have Resolution 95-2016. Keith? Okay, Resolution 95-2016 uh, is going to be another opportunity for everyone out there to own a piece of mountainside. <laughs> Having recently replaced three vehicles, this resolution permits our borough clerk, Martha Lopez, to place the following vehicles out for auction. Uh, they'll be auctioned in the online bidding system known as MunisiBid. The first one is a 2006 Crown Victoria with only 72,909 miles. Uh, the second vehicle is a 2003 Ford F-250 that was uh, gently used by our Public Works Department. Correct, Mr. Romek? Correct. Uh, it has only 75,975 miles. And we have a 2001 Dodge Ram wagon with 86,135 miles. Those vehicles, um, as I said, could be seen on MunisiBid. It's www.municibid, M-U-N-I-C-I-B-I-D.com. Okay, once again, that's www.municibid.com. Uh, get out there and bid often, and you too could have a used police car. <coughs> we, have a, we have a motion. We have a motion. We have a second. A second, yeah. Call the council, please. Yes. 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 Uh, next, we have Resolution 96-2016. Uh, uh, Renee, please. Having already approved the 2016 budget, this resolution will authorize the borough's chief financial officer, Jill Good, to insert the amount of $5,379.01 as received for Drunk Driving Enforcement Fund, and that this revenue item is hereby <coughs> excluded from the CAPS as allowed by law under NJSA 40A, colon 4-87. Second. We have a motion, we have a second. Poll the council, please. Yes. 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 Next, we have resolution 97-2016. Deanna. Having been held this past Saturday, this resolution in support of the annual PTA Fall Festival at Deerfield School approves our Chief Financial Officer, Jill Good, to issue a check in the amount of $500 for the fundraising efforts of the PTA toward what was a fun-filled, successful day. Okay, we have a motion. Second. We have a second. Poll the council, please. Councilman Andre? Yes. Councilman Yes. Councilman Yes. Councilman Yes. Next, we have uh, Resolution 98-2016. Keith? Uh, resolution 98-2016. Effective this date, this resolution will appoint our building code official, Jerry Eager, as a substitute plumbing inspector on an as-needed basis. So moved. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. Call the council, please. Councilman Andre? Yes. Councilman Yes. 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 Next, we have two ordinances, both of which are in uh, our second reading, so there is a public hearing on both of them. First, we have uh, Ordinance 1251-2016. Uh, Deanna? This ordinance establishing the position of the assistant pool technician. We have a motion. Do we have a second? Second. second. Now we open it up to the public. Ordinance 1252-2016. Uh, what? An ordinance to amend Ordinance 1176-2010 fixing salary ranges for certain municipal employees. We have a motion for the ordinance. We need a second. Second. Okay, it's open to the public. Uh, 
seeing no public participation regarding this ordinance only, I move that section be closed. All in favor of closing public viewing? Aye. 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 Hold the council, please. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Dierkes? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Next, we have a motion to approve the appointment of Alexander Pulse as a volunteer firefighter. I need a motion and a second. So moved. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. 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 None opposed, so moved. Plan bills and claims. It is resolved by the mayor and council of the borough countryside that the following bill is the person's name that's in the amount stated below, having been duly audited and found to be correct this 18th day of October 2016. The same be paid after the council's review if and when funds are available, and that the mayor, council president, administrator, and treasurer are hereby authorized and directed to sign and deliver warrants for the same total of $143,685.26. We have a motion, we have a second. Call the council, please. Councilwoman Andre? Yes. Councilman Dierkes? Yes. Councilman Mortimer? Yes. Councilman Turner? Yes. Okay, next we have any council comments. Okay, seeing that now we're opening up to the public. Thank you, Governor. Hello, Linda Drillo with Valley Road. Um, here. I first want to thank everybody here. Um, we have a great town, and I know that there's a lot of behind the work um, that goes on by by all of you. And I just want you to know that I appreciate it, and a lot of people appreciate it. And I just want to say that. Um, as um, some of you might know, I'm a freelance writer, and most recently for the Alternative Press, which is tapped into the mountainside. And um, I was wanting to know whether or not we could get the police squad um, forwarded to the alternative press. I don't see why not. Yeah, I don't see why not either. Yeah. So, how would I go about getting that? And would it be once a week or? Once you contact you, yeah. he'll, yeah, I'll take he'll, he'll tell you how to okay. get it. And great. Okay. How great. often do you get it? Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Great. All right, thank you. And um, as I mentioned, I live on Wood Valley Road, and um, I'd like to know if there's a date on the calendar yet as to when it's going to be paid. I don't uh, think that they've released. We just received uh, a, uh, an email today, as a matter of fact, that the governor uh, rescinded the executive order, stopping all uh, monies going to the towns that were under that. And uh, it just just occurred today, mm -hmm. so I'm sure it was forwarded to Mike Disco, mm -hmm. and Mike Disco was aware of it. So I'm sure arrangements are being made. But your answer is no. We don't have a date. Okay. But it should be soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, know. Know. I would hope so. We're not sure if it'll be by the end of the year. Well, as you get closer to the colder weather, your chances are less, and you really don't want it done in cooler weather. We were hoping to get that road built and paved weeks before school opened, but due to the state funding, they shut all of these projects down and we didn't have the money to, to continue. That is why, yeah, you were wondering. Yeah, that's what happened. Okay. Because that was a, a partial grant, I believe, Jim? Yeah. A partial yeah. grant. So we had, we didn't get the funding because of, uh, the New Jersey government shut everything down. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, next thing I want to... Well, we, well, we have a great interest in that well being. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. So do I. <laughs> Um, everybody knows Halloween's coming up and uh, Old Tote Road is going to be loaded with kids and um, this is something I enjoy, uh, a big Halloween person. Um, and living on Wood Valley Road, um, I'm happy that we still get you know, trick or treaters coming in. Sometimes people in the borough are upset because the kids aren't coming to their neighborhoods on Old Tote Road and I'm like, you can't beat them, join them, <laughs> just go down there. And, uh, I'm happy when people are, you know, coming to my house along the way. Um, what, one thing that, that I'm not happy about is when I see um, people working on the street and taking their strollers out, and they're taking out um, coolers of alcohol. Um, so it becomes like a moving tailgate party. And um, I've just noticed the last couple of years there have been a lot more grown-ups um, trick or treating with the kids in costume with red cups in their hands, or in the case of some moms, there's a real nifty uh, sippy cup 
like a travel mug that has a wine glass inside of it, which I think is great, but not when you're walking around on the street or treating with the kids. And uh, I'd like to know if there is some kind of ordinance that is an open container law, whatever that may be, or whether or not any of the policemen on bikes have noticed this or will do anything if they do see it. Um, obviously, people who are having driveway parties, that's private property, that's one thing. But I, I do notice that there are, you know, people, some of which may be become, coming also from out of town because, you know, we have reputation, this is a great place to trick or treat. And there are a lot of places that probably don't have that. Um, but I think it's just sending a bad message to the kids um, in terms of, you know, we're trick or treating and, and drinking. And I took a picture one time, it was last year, and I just noticed that, um, you know, there's a child on the ground, the candy sprawl around, you know, on the lawn. And, you know, back when my kids were trick or treating, I wouldn't let the kids, you know, eat any of the candy until it was home and sorted and make sure, of course, you know, you know razor blades and the m ms or what everybody, you know, fears. But um, is there any kind of ordinance that? Is enforced or? No, that's my knowledge. Well, there is a, a police presence out there. So I'm sure if the police see something that is out of line and not appropriate, they'll, they'll take the uh, appropriate action. I, I, I'm out there on Old Tow Road, and I think most of what goes on there is, is, is good hearted fun. It's good trick or treating, but certainly if someone gets out of hand, the police are there and they will nip it in the butt. I'm not suggesting anything's going to get out of hand. I'm just suggesting that I think that it's it's just um, um, inappropriate for people to be carrying around red cups and, and wine sippy cups while they're trick or treating. And if there's a law that says you can't do that in the town, then it, you know it'd be enforced. Um, like Chimer says, we do not have that. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. That's interesting. All right. The last thing. Um, we, we're going to have a, a couple of more people here um, from a um, committee. Um, a few weeks ago, there was a thread on, or a post on the Mountain Side Matters Facebook page about um, our downtown needing some sprucing up. Um, so volunteers, about 12 of us, met at the Hetfield House, um, and we formed a beautification committee. And Bob Nessler actually, who's not here, had come to the meeting. And, um, you know, we have some ideas in terms of um, beautifying the downtown area in terms of plantings. So yesterday at our meeting, we met downtown and we sort of walked the um, village. And um, we, I, I took a couple of pictures and we came up with some ideas about how we can make the town look better. And we're here to ask for funding, but Alice Cowell, um, I believe was going to be here, I'm not sure why well, she's not here yet, is going to sort of take the lead of this. But I do want to just present some photos that we took, which are sort of more of a safety thing and would be a question about change. <coughs> These actually might be more appropriate for a work session. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where, you know, the council sits closer and they can pass around your pictures mm -hmm. and oh, all right. really get into a conversation about oh, okay. a, a, a beautification oh. committee. I don't know who's oh, okay. on the committee. I don't. All right. So that's more appropriate that we. we I think so. That? Rather than mm -hmm. this okay. being on Channel 35 right now, they really can't send your pictures over the line. Maybe later on down the line when something is decided upon then it would be better to to present it on 35 and to all the citizens okay i know bob has uh talked about that uh he's not here tonight right so i think it would be appropriate if you came to our work session we could sit down you could show us the pictures because okay. we are also interested in making sure that you know the downtown is you know, it's the best that, 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 that I can Right, do. right. There, there, there's some safety issues with some of the trees that were planted that are, I guess they died. And I think they were originally oak trees. And I think one was replaced with an ornamental tree. And there's some stubs and things. Just, so I, it's not a problem. Let's okay. come to the work session. And All right. right. That's more appropriate. Okay. All right. That's good. Because Alice is going to take the lead here. And I have to lead anyway. So All right. I appreciate sure she comes to the work session. Okay. Yeah. All right. And what is the date? 
Uh, it'll be the first Tuesday of the month. Uh, what is that, November 1st? November 1st. Or 2nd or something? 1st. 1st. Yeah, because the 8th is the last one. Yes. Tuesday, first Tuesday of the month, every month. <laughs> and <laughs> next month it will be November 1st. Okay. All right, fair enough. Thank you very much. Okay. 730, you do. 730 you. November 1st. Okay.
they're getting ready. I understand their bricks are, are being installed uh, now. They're all delivered, I believe. So uh, again, that'll be a great event. Uh, it's a great way to come out and support our our veterans. It's the 12th Veterans Day. is the 11th, but we're having this on the 12th on a Saturday. So we hope to get a lot more people out there. So I look forward to seeing everyone there. I will be there. Uh, so it should be a, a, another good community event in, in, uh, uh, in Mountainside. And I guess that's it. And so Mary, Mary, a clean community Saturday at 9. Okay, clean community Saturday at 9. If you want to participate, where should they be? Rescue Squad building. At the Rescue Squad building. It's another great day where we have a lot of kids. I know the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts are usually big supporters of it. They go around and pick up all the garbage that's uh, uh, around town, the, the water bottles, the power drink bottles, all the stuff that accumulates around town. They, they do a fantastic job. So anyone that's interested in participating can show up at the Rescue Squad. They'll team you up with somebody and give you an area to clean, and then I believe they have some kind of pizza party at the end of the day uh, to thank everyone. So another, again, another great event shows great community uh, spirit to go out and then help uh, beautify the town, the whole town, not just the downtown. So what time should they be down there? Nine o'clock, EBW Garage, uh, Rescue Squad. Yeah. Okay. Now, anything else? back on the uh, Veterans Memorial Plaza. Uh, they are in need of donations and there's a GoFundMe page that's been set up. Um, so if people go online, they can just go to, they can go to GoFundMe.com and then just search for Mountain Sides uh, Veterans Memorial Plaza. And uh, the Cop Trot PTA, uh, lots of photos on tapinto.net, tap into Mountain Sides. So if you want to see yourself <laughs> or um, you know, a bunch of the runners and uh, people who participated, um, check it out. It's a lot of fun stuff. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, now, motion to adjourn. <laughs> okay, second. So adjourned. No executive.